Well, I am Kelsey Hoke. I graduated from here in 2011, so I've only been gone for two years. I was in broadcast level one and two. I was communications club president two years ago. I know some of you were around then. Some of you are too young to have been here. But I go to OU. I'm in Scripps School of Journalism. So Mr. Pearson and the communications club presidents asked me to come and speak today if any of you had any questions about maybe looking into journalism in the future or whether that's video productions, audio productions, you want to be on TV, you want to be behind the scenes, whatnot. So I guess I'm here to talk a little bit about that. So first, I uh, obviously am in journalism at school, and then I work at WOUB TV, which is the local TV station in Athens. And I am an anchor, a reporter, and I'll be starting to be a producer next semester. So that's pretty much what I do there. OK, well, I started thinking about TV. I was a dancer for a long time when I was a little kid, up until about halfway through high school. And I love performing in front of people. Talking to big crowds isn't a really big deal. And I just feel really comfortable in front of the camera. And it's not you know, a big, scary thing like it is for some people. So I always knew that I wanted a career in TV. And it was just something that really excited me. So I looked into OU when I was a freshman, and that's when I started learning about scripts. And I took a visit my, the end of my sophomore year, and then again my junior year, and I applied September of my senior year and got accepted in October. So I knew right away that's what I wanted to do. I didn't even apply anywhere else to school. But so it was pretty early on that I knew what I wanted to do. But yeah. Um, I guess some things that you need to look into. I know not all of you are going to go into journalism just because you take broadcast and video. Obviously, this is a fun class. You guys get a lot of experience doing different things. Um, but when you apply to college, at OU, for example, and it's the same at any school, there's different colleges within the university. So you have um, the Scripps College of Communication, and you have the business school, the education school, such and such. So what I did when looking into OU was I knew that it had a good journalism program. So when you're picking a school, you want to make sure whether you want to go into journalism or if it's something else, you want to pick a school based on how good of an education you're going to get in that specific school. And then you want to look at you know, the dorm life there, the other people that go there, what kind of programs outside of the school are going to help you. Like, for example, I knew WOUB was a great TV station, so I decided that all the things combined made OU a really good place to go for journalism. And it's in-state. It's only an hour and a half away, so I can come home on the weekends. It's not a plane ride away, so. It is, a lot of colleges have TV stations through the school itself. If there's a journalism program there, WOUB is actually the Athens TV station, so technically it's not through the school. It is something that they accept student volunteers to work there. I spend about 20 hours there a week. I volunteer time so that I can get practice for my future. It's kind of like an internship while you're in school. Um, so basically, it's its own TV station. It's not in the school. So There are, well, journalism, the definition of journalism, I'd say, is changing over the last few years since the internet has gotten a lot more prevalent. I mean, people don't just, it's not you wake up and you get your paper in the morning or, you know, you wait until the news comes on at five at night on TV. It's becoming something that anybody now can really be a journalist through Twitter, through Facebook, any social media. I mean, one of you, if something happens here, you're automatically on Twitter letting everybody else know in the school what's happening. So in itself, that's being a journalist. You're getting the news out there. So the different things at OU that you can go into, there is, um, there's two tracks for journalism. It is news and information and then public relations. So you either study to be you know, TV, newspaper, magazine, radio, or you study to be um, you know, public relations, which is you basically work for a company and you put out their information for them, if you guys know what a... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? A press release. Um, you know, when they send something out saying, this is a new product we're putting out. This is what's happening with our company, such and such. So those are the different things that owe you that. Or, I mean, you could go into video productions or audio productions, which is kind of behind the scenes for TV. An internship basically is 
I'd say probably about 75% of them are unpaid. You go into a company, you are kind of somebody's understudy. So you work to follow that person around, whether or not it's a news anchor, or you go and you shadow a doctor, or someone working in a business. You know, it's any major kind of has these internships. And you go and you spend a lot of internships are over the summer or over college has a long winter break. I've been home for a month now. So and you go and you basically shadow someone and you learn what it is to be in the job field. And a lot of jobs you're going to get from having an internship and going out there and getting that experience before you enter the job market. So it kind of builds up your resume to get, to get your name out there. Um, if you, I would say what you want to do is, if say you have it narrowed down to two things in school that you want to do, I would suggest going in and picking a path to go on. You can always go in and change your major in that first year of school, but I would say don't go in undecided. Go in and test one out, and if you decide that you don't like that, then switch. Um, a lot of kids who go in undecided kind of hang out there for a long time, so, <laughs> but yeah. There, I mean, you can take classes once you get in and pick what you want to do and kind of narrow it down that way, but. My blog is through um, wordpress.com. It's a free blogging site. It's pretty easy, you just go on. You don't have to know like web coding or anything crazy like that, but you basically just set it up yourself. Um, it's free. You go on, type whatever you want, pick your colors. You know, if you know how to use Facebook, you can figure out how to use WordPress. So, but this is my blog. It has my Twitter feed connected to it. Um, all of my episodes. So. One other thing that I could suggest, um, and then I'll answer your question, is just that while you're here, take advantage of the equipment you have. You know, you can check a camera out after. Um, you know, you guys make a lot of fun videos that people like to watch on Rock News and at lunch and everything. Um, one thing that I could suggest is make a serious package, maybe about something news here around the city, just to show when you go to school that you know. Because, you know, something that might be funny on Rock News about homecoming, things to do and not to do at homecoming, is funny to the Kaufman kids. When you go and you try to show your video to someone outside of Kaufman, they might not think it's as funny as you do. <laughs> so try and do a serious one while you're here if you have extra time. You know, it might help you out later on your resume tape.